here. What is this? Trap. Premier Trap Beer. Oh, God. 7% alcohol by volume. Yeah, this stuff's thick. But not as thick as what's in box number one. Um, if this even ends up on an unboxing. Because this is a slightly less safe for work. I guess it's just as not safe for work as goddamn Megamine. What is with Japan and their boxes? They have the worst, like the stacks are the worst boxes. And all these other boxes I get from Japan are just the worst, like tape and cardboard. It's like, I mean, their whole fucking society is built out of paper. Like, just, look at that. It's like moist. Look at this guy. What are you selling me, buddy? All right, another anime, anime, anime fagarine. Oh, shit. Read that later. Chewbacca. Wait. There's no sides to this. There's no, like, flaps. Why? Why is this box, like, super efficient? There's no this way folds. So look at her, look at her. Like, in the box. That was, like, a one second. Like, I made a decision to be in this box now. The strange contraption is there now. Oh, man. Joint pain. Pandas. Baseball, flowers, people in anime pain. Oh shit. Geriatric chairs. By the way, you're real special if you get this stuff wrapped in this. Okay. There's my dude. My dude again. This guy's gonna fuck all three of those women because whatever's in that bottle. Pollinating bees? It looks like bees. Is it bees? Dermed premium lotion. Nice. These bitches got it. This guy won like a stick award. Best stick in the business. And people think I like watch all these anime and know what they are. Nah, girl, bending over in a swimsuit. That's all right. Purchase. Oh, Zeos, leave it in the box so it's worth more. No, this shit's got to get dusty and fucking make my guests uncomfortable. Like, is he a pervert? You know why I'm okay with this? Because pasta's okay with this. Hi, pasta. Trust me, there's plenty of things I would have just like held back, but pasta's like, that's not cool. Get a sexier one. Do they have any that are just completely getting fucked by elephants? And I'm like, hi, pasta. I'll look. They always do the triple edge. They, they tape every edge, every surface is taped, but there's no flaps. Here there'll be flaps. This box might be slightly discolored. This might be sitting around forever. Who is this? Who the hell's Haruka? Morishima, I don't know. Swimsuit, bent over, decent price. I think it was like 60 bucks. Patreon money, you think bought this? Nah, nah. This is when I sell my blood. But usually you get the box to fold rather painlessly. I don't keep the inner linings though. I shed them like a uterus. Booyah. There, again, if you went a yard sale and you'd like this box, which who the fuck wouldn't want? Look at the angles. It's like five different angles. This one might have been pasta approved, I think. Let's keep drinking this terrible beer. That's fucking shimmy. Mm. Ugh. Man, do I fucking hate beer. More tape. Tape there. Tape there. That's not taped. That's not taped. How much tape is there? Tape. Tape. Clear base. I hate bases. Made in China. 
you hate when you buy Japanese shit and it's made in China? I'll just grab her delicately by the boobs. Yes. Yes. It's like my wallpapers have come to life. I like that there's no assembly. Paintwork looks good. Tan lines. Fingernails painted. Yep. She got a good face. She's got a good face. We got two and one and boom and bun. So here's where she's going to go. I won't put my greasy hands on her too much. Because this reminds me that uh, there are beautiful women in the world. They want me to look at their ass. Asses? Assets? Where's her eyes going? Her eyes are like there. Should I do it here? Should I do it there? We're pretty, we could do another one up there. I gotta move Rem. Rem doesn't belong there. Look at that. That's fucking art. So yeah. So that's um, that's quality. Yes. Perfecto. And now to open up nine, I'm not filming this, but I bought five of the glass shelves from Monoprice because they were ten dollars a piece on sale. Get in every box, Chewbacca. You check for for the inhabitants and shit. So I gotta open that up, and then tomorrow, again, if this video goes live, I don't know if I'm gonna publish this because you know how many cute anime girls can I possibly sell in an unboxing? Uh, tomorrow, <laughs> amongst this mess, because I finished the BenQ review, and amongst these have to go out, and tomorrow, uh, the fucking UPS, no, not UPS, a delivery service is bringing a pallet of Yamos, a 7.1. Point four. Ugh, I'm gonna puke. Not for the amount of speakers, but because when I separate speaker and box, then it's double. Like those Elax are in that box. When those Elax are out of that box, then I have an empty box and Elax. Just like those micro subwoofers are in those bike boxes. When I take the micro subwoofers out of those boxes, I have two boxes. Well, actually, I have four boxes. It's a fucking nightmare. Welcome to my nightmare. I need, I need like a door there. And behind that door is just a dark room filled with boxes. And then I'd be good. Anyway, this is gonna go the same place all the other ones go until they're asked to be put in the art sale. Look at that. Uh, uh. Okay. Moving on. Mm, knife! Pretty sure this is an anime figure. Not 100% not sure. I sort of peeked and it's like, oh, that's another bag in there. I mean, if it's something naughty, I'm just gonna like stop this and cut it out, so. Just know that that happens every once in a while. Uh, yeah, oh, both of them. Anyway, I forget which video I linked. I had to link something from Amazon, and therefore I linked... Is she over here? She's over there. Hold on. I like anime figures. I, look, weeb, whatever. I don't like when they stand on things. I, I just don't. I don't like the platforms. It's stupid. So when you can get one that can just sit on things on its own, that's a fucking win. That's a win, because then I just, I have plenty of stuff to sit on, shit. So I bought a couple more. Everything in Japan is taped on three sides. It's very, very strange. And almost none of these figures are made in Japan, which is also annoying. They're all Chinese, because they'd cost a trillion dollars if they were made. What the hell is this? Accessories? Oh, her tail! This one's got a tail, so I'll add the tail. And they might show up throughout the season. I don't know why I'm calling Zero Views now having a season, but it seems to be a trend, so. But. Let your weebness flow through me. You can use me as an excuse to be a weeb. It's fine. I like anime. This attaches to her up or down? Up? I think it's gotta go up. Derriere now has that. But she's cute. She could sit on top of this. Like, oh, no. They're designed to sit on top of, like, your noodles. Like when you make ramen noodle. But I mean, anything that's got a flat surface is pretty much Fair game. Oh, at least a corner, specifically for that one. That's the best she's gonna do. That's the best she's gonna do for now. Let's move on. Uh huh. Garbage. Box. T 
taped on three sides? Yes. So can I open it from the bottom? Yes. No tape. Hack the Gibson. These are cheap too. These things are like twelve to fifteen dollars. It's just like eh, eh. She's just just cute sitting there, just sitting there, all cute and shit. Well, I can give his way his gifts. Like that one's really, that one will sit on any flat surface like that. So that can go on your shelf, on your wall. You could turn it just facing forward. There you go. Fucking awesome, Chewbacca. They need to make more of these. This is my favorite style of figure now. I don't give a shit if they're cheap or incorrect, bad color. They sit on things. They sit on things. All right, um, out of the range of uh, cheap Chinese sexy things, expensive Chinese sexy things. I'm pretty sure y'all know that, VMV. That's SMSL's like higher end brand. Kind of like when you go get a Honda, but you don't want a Honda, you want the better one, so you get an, not Acura, Acura's, who's Acura's, Honda Acura? Yeah, Honda, Honda, Honda Accord is the Acura TL, yeah. So yeah, or you get a Toyota, or you get a Lexus. Well, you either get an SMSL, or you get a VMV SMSL, which is high-end. Now this, uh, I was contacted by SMSL, and they sent me a couple things, and they, Sent me a couple lower end things, like asked me that, and then I reviewed the SU8 on my own. Someone sent it to me from Mastro, and I'm like, "Oh shit, this thing is great." That review should be out by now. And then they said, "Hey, we have this, and it's basically exactly the same as the SMSL SU8 DAC. Remote control, uh, balanced. Uh, you know, it's beautiful. It looks exactly the same. The only difference is instead of two hundred and fifty dollars on Amazon." Uh, this one costs thirteen hundred dollars from everywhere. Be sure to hold it your hands. That's that's a meme. Here's the book, which I've guess what already downloaded and read this entire book, so I shouldn't have to do it again. That's how I know it's got the exact same feature set as the uh, SU8. Essentially, imagine if you had like a decent car. Oh, wow, that is a thick, thick boy piece of foam. Imagine a, a really nice car, and they use like, eh, parts. Now take that car that's still, eh, and then put the most expensive shit from Italy and the most expensive Japanese computer screens, and then that's what this is going to be. This is an SU8, the same functionality, just every single component of it is ridiculous. I, I talked to the people who know more about the actual builds of these things than I do, and they, they looked at the internals and went, oh yeah, there's about $250 in parts in one of these. Now, if you don't know anything about... Oh, that's interesting. You get to screw with the back. I like this remote. I like it a lot. If you don't know anything about um, how much things are supposed to cost, if something costs a company $250 in parts, and then another however many $100 to put it together, they have to sell it for like seven times as much. That's the only way companies can make money. You can't make 10% on top of what it costs you. That's how you go out of business. So the fact that this has the most expensive components available, like the transformer and the DAC chips, the individual, oh my God, it is heavy. Holy shit. That fucking piece of paper isn't lying. I need to use my hands. They fill it with lead? I feel like I need to take this off the bag here. Oof. Okay. This is probably the heaviest. This is the pounds per inch heaviest device I've ever used. Left side, power supply in a separate chamber from the rest of the DAC. Look at the back of it. Oh my fucking God. Oh, by the way, I had to pay for this. I had to pay 50%. Usually companies are like, here, we have a thing, here it is for free. And then I review it and I don't judge up or down because of that, I just do it. They were not willing to send me this because it cost them so much to make that I had to pay half. Which is like, all right, I pulled that out of the Patreon. Here you go, I'm trusting you people not to fuck with me too bad. Balanced outputs, unbalanced output, 
a coaxial USB and optical and AES, which is a, it's a to balance format for like pro gear to run a long XLR for that. I don't ever use it. It's the only thing on the back of this that's different from the SU8 for $250. Here's your power brick in, off on, and the front's got one button, an infrared receiver, and a little baby screen, and that's it. Is that an LED? There's an LED there. I hope it's not blue. Please don't be blue. Big rubber feet. I gotta know. I gotta know what this weighs on my good scale. I'll give it to you in pounds and grams. Eight pounds, three ounces. Or 3.72 kilograms. This fucking thing is a death... It's like serious. This is the most serious feat. It's worth its weight. If you bought it just for get something heavy, you, you bought... That's it. So, yeah comes with just a uh, USB cable. Oh my God, it's not an expensive USB. You don't need one. USB works or don't work. This is not being powered by USB, so therefore all it needs to do is move signal back and forth and it's gonna be fine. Remote, also heavy. Assembled in China, designed by SMSL, which is a Chinese company. The RC3 remote. I actually like this remote. Let me clean it a little bit, there you go. I like it. This doesn't feel cheap. And one of the benefits of having a DAC with a remote control that you could raise the volume is I'm going to hook this up right there on the floor in between my two giant amps. I'm going to run balance cables to the amps. I'm going to run signal probably from my laptop because I, I guess I could run fiber optic over to that. Actually, I can because my fiber optic is currently feeding my, uh, M, uh, my mini DSP HD. I'm just going to run it over. Nothing's going to change. I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to use that to control the entire volume of the system. And it should be the best. This is it's the best source signal thing that I've ever set up in the living room once I've done that. I'm going to, I, that's it. So I'm going to take this eight pound black box and I'm going to give it, hopefully it doesn't suck. I hope it doesn't suck. I had to pay legit money for it. And if it sucks, well, then I'm going to say it sucks and then I'm going to sell it and try to get some of that money back. Doesn't suck. I'll keep it around, maybe. I don't know. See what's going down. Can't knock the looks. All right, moving on. You do your thing, Nito. You're a good boy. Nito's a good boy. I don't know. I know that's ZMF. I'm not quite sure what that this is. So I don't want to lose the sender name. You gonna kill me? It's got teeth now. Alright. Well, go do your thing. Ooh. Definitely somebody sent me this. That is uh, how you do the zipper, I guess. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. Oh. I know what these are. Um, JDS Labs is um, partnering with these guys. These are the Vocals, V-O-K-Y-L, and these are apparently the Erupts. Are they a gaming headset? Do they have a wire? What are they doing? Oh, the Vocals, the Vocals. Wow, this is a severe cable. Like, holy shit. I'm a little disturbed by the severity of this cable. So definitely handmade. You can see the, the heat shrink's different on all parts of it. That would annoy me, but there's some glue in there. Everything's heat shrinked. Everything, all the time. And it says R and L written in marker. And they're using this heavy, at least it's flexible and soft, but it's, it's the same size as the main trunk, which is good for efficiency's sake. Then you get into the split. Probably something 3D printed in there. So, woof. That is a woof cable. Woof. Write that down. Make sure that's hashtag woof. I think that's. I don't know how to spell it. You spell it. We got fenestrated pads, perforated pads. From the look of it, we've got a severely offset driver in there, way to the front. If that is the front, yeah, it's the front. Basic, simple. I don't mind this system. It's very Audio Technica. That's a very strong strappy strap. But you don't have to deal with tilt. Is that what goes on? Metal. Metal, 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 metal. 
and they're using this spec. They're doing the spec thing on this, which is like, all right. Kind of like what the HE600 is trying to do, but actual real. Oh, that's, that's a tough stretch. You know, here. This thing is so tight, that I have to stretch it entirely to get it down, and it's just, it, it's, it's not going to fit. Are you coming in here, baby? I'm going to have to put this on a foam block like this, and really, this has got too much tension. That's, it's got no give. Gib. It needs to gib. All right, you're, you're doing here. I'll, I'll walk away for a second. Other than that, the design is beautiful. Oh, a little bit of an exposed metal piece there. You can tell these are like starting off as one-offs. Very one-off. That's right. I don't need the kitchen anyway, Nito. You're, it's fine. Do your thing. Honestly, let, let, the, let the goddamn vacuum work because uh, it needs to. <clears throat> we'll start on this side, I guess. ZMF. I should probably start a new video just because ZMF. All right, give me a sec. Oh, it's a Christmas miracle. Um, yeah, so another box showed up. While I was like, just like, I'm done. No. This one from one of my favorite companies. Can you guess who it is? Can you, can you guess what all? Bio Bidet. That's right, Bio Bidet emailed me. You know the company that makes my bidet, my expensive, electronic, ass massaging, amazing, life-changing, I'll, I'll go to say life-changing uh, products. Yeah, they emailed me and said, hey, we found a video where you like showed yourself installing it and that was really helpful. Uh, we wanna send you some products. And I'm like, never before. Like he goes, Clip, she's like, hey, we'll loan you the Forte 3s. And I'm like, eh. But Bio Bidet says, hey, we got some stuff to clean your ass and I'm just like fuck yeah but we got to start off small so this is going to be painful I maybe have to go to someone's house to do this because this is a manual bidet if you don't know what a manual bidet is this one's under 100 bucks and it's just basically where is it this it's just this this is it this is this is the whole thing Take off toilet seat you have, put this down, put toilet seat back, you're done. Hook, wa hook water hose, which they provide. Let's see, we got the hose, we got the adapters. Winners every three months. The winners every, three winners every month? I don't know what that is. But you get the little hose adapter to tap off your, so I don't know why they go with this route instead of the one that goes to the toilet, because that's so much easier, but that's it. Your bidet is done. No heated. You use your own seat. You use everything you got. Here are the valves that shoot down. Look. See? Look. That one's got seven holes, and that one's got five holes. And there's two of them. And depending on which way you turn this knob, or it clicks at least. But it's going to shoot cold water up your bum. Up your bum. Up your bum. And you're going to go... Uh, lady time or butt wipe time. So you go lady time, and it's got five, and then off. I think. Oh, I hope that's that off. You'll figure out it's off, and you're sitting there, and you go four that way. It's eight, eight total positions. All right, well, the point is it's a rubberized thing, and you're going to sit there, and you're going to turn that knob, and water's going to shoot up your bum. Full pressure from the, from the street, whatever the temperature is outside. If it's summer, maybe you'll get 65, 70-degree water. If it's winter, maybe you'll get 48, 48-degree 48 water. It's guaranteed 48. But we got to start small, don't we? What's that? Oh, my God. It comes with a poop emoji. My life is fucking complete. Where, where? Just, just my life. So now I got anime girls that sit on speakers and poop emoji that's staring at her. 
at her delicious armpits. What a weirdo you are, poop emoji. Poop emoji's weird. Anyway, so uh, here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna review this, whether it's on my toilet or a friend's toilet. I might bring it to my cousin Jay, since he is the least likely to toilet. Although they do have another full electric one that they're gonna think about sending me that's like their entry level. And I might force that upon Jay instead of this, because this is not gonna get, this is what, something worse than this got me into bidets. Something that was just one knob, uh, and it just shot up your ass, ah! So this should be better than that. It's just a matter of getting it. And it's, oh my God, there's a bio bidet sticker. I didn't even see it, where did that come from? What do you think, back window of my car? Oh, ho, ho, ho. It's a, oh man, I love the company, but oh, I'm gonna have my soup now. All right, so yeah, anyway, links to the bio bidet, uh, Slim Edge, which is what this is, also in the description of this video. How did this even fit? It feels wider than the box. It's fucking magic. All right, next one.